before the aviary was officially opened. Irfan and his team had released one woodpecker species, namely the common flameback. It's too bad if we don't discuss this particular species. Therefore, in this episode, let's get acquainted with these birds together. It's the aviary! Shall we release them? The female one first. The release of this bird is a little different than usual. After opening the cage door, Irfan and his team didn't let the birds fly away. These common flamebacks had been long cared for and trained by Kong Pio. They are already very docile to humans. But Irfan is still a little afraid of this woodpecker. Of course, there is a reason. Yes, before, Irfan was attacked by a woodpecker. If you want to hold a woodpecker, remember never to hold it in front of your face because there might be a chance it will land on you as if your face were a tree. So, if you want to hold the woodpecker, position the woodpecker above your head or aim it so that its back is facing you. Otherwise, the result will be like this. All right, enough of seeing Irfan get pecked. We'd better go back again to see the release of the common flameback. After the female common flameback was released, it is now the male's turn. The male is friendlier to humans than the female. He will not land on people's faces. Common Flameback The common flameback or Denopium javanense is a medium-sized bird with a body length of about 28 to 30 centimeters. Their faces are black and white stripes, golden yellow coats, the lower back, and a red rump. It's easy to tell the difference between a male and a female common flameback. The crest and crown of the male bird are red, while the female is black. What is a bit difficult is to distinguish the common flameback from the greater flameback. The appearance of these two species is almost identical, and often people mistakenly identify them. Their voices are almost the same. To distinguish them, we must pay close attention to them. The common flameback has a smaller beak than the greater flameback. The nape of the common flameback is black, while the greater flameback is white and black. The stripe under the cheek of the common flameback is undivided, while the greater flameback is separate. Other woodpeckers are more similar to the common flameback. The species is the Himalayan flameback. Because they are so similar, the easiest way to tell the Himalayan from the common flameback is to hear their voices. The common flameback is divided into six subspecies, with their distribution area covering India. Bangladesh, Southern China, and Southeast Asia, including Indonesia. But if we talk about their distribution area in Indonesia, they cannot be found in Eastern Indonesia. They only exist in Sumatra, Borneo, Java, and Bali. They generally prefer moist and open forest habitats in the lowlands. However, they also inhabit the highlands up to 1,700 meters above sea level. Pine forests, mangroves, bushes, and plantations are among the places they often inhabit. Contrary to their name, common, these birds tend to be hard to find. They are even harder to find than the greater flameback. It is due to their shy and introverted nature. They rarely visit urban areas, unlike the greater flameback. In Indonesia, there is no Himalayan flameback. So here, it's impossible to identify the common flameback with the Himalayan flameback mistakenly. Common flamebacks eat insects, particularly ants, flying insects, 
Larvae Scorpions Fruit and seeds in the wild. They prefer to forage under trees, although sometimes they do so in the middle or tops of trees. They can jump agile thanks to the three toes they have. Two of their toes point forward and one toe back as they jump. But when they are still and resting, they position their three toes forward. They live in pairs and sometimes in groups with other species belonging to the Piscidae family. But sometimes, male common flamebacks forage in different trees, although they maintain visual and vocal contact. Like other woodpeckers, the common flameback peck at trunks and trees for their nests. However, they tend to rarely produce sound, regardless of their ability to vary the sound. Because of their small beaks, they also rarely peck wood. They rely more on probing and gleaning techniques when looking for food. And when they do, they produce very minimal sound. They also have a long tongue which is useful for picking up insects. Common flamebacks can breed all year round. During the courtship display, male and female birds chase each other among the trees and raise their crests. Male birds will also do drumming to attract the attention of female birds. After that, they will make nests in tree trunks between 2 and 10 meters. But usually, the hole is less than 5 meters. The trees they often choose are coconut trees and fruit trees. In the nest, the female will lay 2 to 4 eggs. Then, she will incubate them for almost 2 weeks. She will incubate on her own without the help of her partner. The male parent will only find food for the female parent and feed her. Common flameback chicks that have hatched will then be cared for by their two parents until they can live independently. They can get out of the nest after about 23 to 30 days, and they will immediately be able to fly and climb trees with agility. Even so, they still can't chirp. In Indonesia, there is a unique myth that surrounds the common flameback. The ancients, it is said, believed that the common flameback had a magical effect. These birds are often used as offerings in ancient rituals. Their body parts are also believed to contain mystical powers. The benefits of these birds include preventing thieves, increasing stamina, curing diseases, increasing authority and aura, and increasing weapon sharpness. However, these are all just myths, although there may still be people today who believe in them. Because of this myth, it is said that the common flameback was often hunted in the past. But fortunately, their current population still counts a lot. Their status is still in the least concerned category on the IUCN list. You shouldn't have to try to prove the truth of the myth because that's just not making any sense. <laughs>